The recent federal budget was supposed to stimulate the housing industry, but in Toronto, Canada's largest real estate market, it seems to have done the opposite. Confusion over what the budget offers home buyers has brought the Toronto market almost to a standstill. Larry Rose reports. Latest figures show house sales across Canada are down about 25% from last year. Interest rates are still high, of course, but now a new problem as well. People who would like to buy a home are confused about what the federal government is doing to help them. One example, the government has appointed a panel of financial experts that could result in a program of mortgage rates that are 6% lower. But it's not certain the program will ever be implemented, and in any event, nothing is going to be done before September. The result? Buyers are simply waiting, especially the ones in Toronto. Toronto realtor Daryl Kent says another budget provision was expected to help some families buy a new home, but so far, it hasn't worked. It didn't do a thing. In fact, it caused more problems. You know, they announced the $3,000 first-time buyer's grant, but there are no details on it, and generally, the confusion caused by the government, the market's ground to an almost total halt. Kent says sellers are becoming increasingly desperate. This house in the trendy Cabbage Town area has been on sale for more than a year. There are no takers, even though the price has been cut by more than $70,000. There were plenty of for sale signs around Toronto before last month's federal budget. Now the signs are still here, and it looks like they're going to stay here a lot longer. Larry Rose, CBC News, Toronto.